kids, a new day, a new adventure. No, I'm not recording on my phone as I'm driving. It's actually my camera set up here on the dash. Anyhow, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that new adventure, we're going to pick something up. We're gonna buy something. I wasn't expecting this, but something came up. Price was right. Mileage on this unit was all right. So we thought, why the hell not? We're gonna make this splurge eventually. So while this deal is up, we'll go buy it. The problem is it's a good two hour drive to get there, which is fine for the price point we're picking this up for. So, come along, let's see where the adventures go. Oh, I trying to hurry this up too, because uh, we got a snowstorm coming in. It's end of February and we got a huge freaking snowstorm. So I want to get this done before that. And I gotta try and yell louder so my voice comes in clear. So anyhow, we'll see you on the other side. Blah, 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 Chuck. So right now the roads are not bad. They're still a little bit wet, so it's not freezing up. However, it's early morning. What is it, seven o'clock? And once things freeze tonight, it's gonna be a nightmare. So that's another reason why I wanna get on the road early and get back by noonish. Actually, yeah, about one, two o'clock I should be back. See, look at this. Wow, it's starting to glaze over a little bit. Yeah, you can see already the roads are starting to ice up. It didn't take long. But you know why? You get little microclimates like this. You go over one mountain, one pass, and it changes from one pass to the other. So it can get a uh, little slick and dangerous. Man, yeah, that's why I second guess coming out today. It's like, uh, do I want to? Do I wait till Monday, Tuesday, next week? But they're calling like snow and ice and rain all this week. It's like, what the hell, it's February. Usually the all the flowers are coming out this time of year, but apparently, Mother Nature has a different plan in mind. So anyways, see you on the other side again as I blah, blah, blah. So how about this? Here's a little bit more of the ride. Wow, it's very Christmassy. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful this morning. I, I'm beside myself. I, I'm so enjoying this trip. Wow. And yet some more of the mountain sides here. Look at this. I hope this is coming in on camera. Look at all the RVs there. Wow, there's a ton for sale. That's the airport there. But this is what we're gonna ex be exploring. All these mountain sides on my new purchase here. So, wow, incredible. Lots of camping spots, lots of trails to explore, lakes, small lakes, everything. Wow, superb. Okay, we have arrived. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into here. Nice place, middle of nowhere, quiet. Don't see the bike out yet. We'll knock on the door. Oh, you did put a new uh, plug in it. I yeah, see. I put a new spark plug in it last night. Okay. Yeah, just some tape around that. So. Uh, have you recently changed oil? Just curious. Yeah, I changed to know oil, whether plug, or to plug change oil, it and, and I put this air filter on. That's that's it, right? So. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I just, just, uh, I just want something for running around out in the middle of nowhere there. Yeah. 
and if we live in such a small town you can probably bomb around bomb in the around town the street, well, yeah. but a lot of small tinkering which is fine so yeah it, something new the guy figured the points probably need to be changed or the, the ignition because it got worse and he said maybe the carb tuning right but yeah i think uh, he said the points are usually yeah, they could be grubby right it's because it's been sitting for a while. yeah yeah for sure that that would make sense the points and that yeah he was gonna buy it but then he He's looking for because it's missing some plastic pieces. That's he right. Wants, yeah, he the wants covers. to restore it to original. That's uh, the thing. He does. He buys them and restores them. Right. He's got uh, a whole collection of them, and he's like, "I'll call." He, he almost bought it, and he's like, "I'm gonna." Okay. What the hell, Chuck? What did you get yourself into now? Ah, yeah, yeah. Here we go again. So it's not bad for what it is. This guy's had it for 35 years. It looks like original mileage because they've had it since his father had it new and bought it new and the guy wrote it when he was younger. Da 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 da. And then his father kept it and did some small things to it, but it looks like, yeah, 959 miles and uh, wow, it's amazing. Uh, it's got a bit of a miss, he says. Uh, the guy. A previous guy looked at him, a collector of these, and said it could be coil, points, that type of thing. So he says he thinks it's electrical, which makes sense. Or carb cleaning, carb adjusting. So anyways, we got another bike project. What the hell? Ah, more too many projects, maybe. Just spit all over. Anyways, exciting, exciting. Uh, we'll take it back. It's another two and a half hour drive. We don't have to hurry. We can take our time. As long as I beat the snow before, what, 4 or 5-ish. And maybe we'll stop somewhere for coffee or something. Get some fuel in this. Anyhow, cheers until then. Well, the heat coming off the engine. But man, I know it's a messy pigsty van. Not mine. But this, wow, this is such a thrill. Very happy to have this thing. Coolest thing ever. See, I strapped it in by the seatbelt and put the kickstand on so it doesn't go anywhere or knock over. Um, the gas tank is orange. Somebody painted it blue, but it looks like it's been changed out. The guy said he's not sure. That would have been his dad who did that. And uh, some of the Honda trails back in the, those days were orange, actually. Uh, most of them red, but I have seen some in orange color. And I thought a blue of some sort. So... Anyways, I have noticed some gaskets have been changed on this, so somebody has been playing around. Again, as he said, his dad did that. Uh, replacement carb, somebody, uh, he says it's carb is replaced. In the air cleaner box I have in the back, it's been changed, and somebody just put, or he put that on, that little uh, fil air, air filter there in the carb. And he says, yeah, he just uh, basically took it out of storage where his dad stored it and drove it around a couple times only and just put it up for sale. His dad had a different bike, an MX-175 Yamaha, and that one is, he decided to keep because he says, you know, like a lot of us, you can't keep everything, so he had to get rid of it. So anyhow, for us, that's a good deal, I think. So a uh, thousand bucks, thousand buckaroonies. I take it the going rate on these was, uh, I seen somebody post some videos, a uh, bike collector saying these things, fairly decent shape, nice, clean, are three to five grand is what the collectors are going. And it's missing uh, also the plastic covering for the wiring and that. Uh, so yeah, there's a few small things to do on this for sure. So, uh, anyways, I don't think I'll repaint it. We'll just probably keep it the same way it is because we'll probably do a bit of bush bashing for a while. And those knobby tires are perfect for what I want. Wow, fantastic. I'm thrilled. I want to try it out. I can't wait. I, I had the camera on wide lens shitball. It, that's why it didn't come in probably clear. But anyways, uh, I have not ridden it yet. I figured for a thousand bucks I can resell it if, if I don't like it or it's not comfortable. Or just drive it for a year or two and resell it. So I have to think what I want to do with my electric bike. When I get back to Vancouver, should I sell it or should I bring it here? I don't know. I can't bring everything here because I don't have a lot of room here either with my mom and them. So anyways, yeah, decisions, decisions, right?
So no matter how many times I come through here, I always love to stop and check out this area, the Malahat Point, or Lookout they call it. And you know, right across, my mom used to live on the other side of that, right down there by Sydney, by the other side of the ocean. Not this inlet side of the, or the bay I guess, called Millwood, Mill Bay, Millwood Bay, something like that along the ocean side here so very beautiful views and it says actually the top of that mountain there's a little thing on the top weather or whatever they call it weather station i hiked to the top of that one time beautiful little hike uh went from my mom's there and actually the airport is right there my mom lived right beside the airport right by the waterfront sydney uh, what do they call it? The, the city of newly weds and nearly deads. <laughs> I guess because there's so many old people. So let's walk up a bit to see, check it out better. Kind of, sort of better, maybe, maybe not. So anyways, we're headed that direction north. Millwood's there. There's a beautiful spot on the waterfront there. It's unbelievable. Very quiet, quaint little eclectic, is that what you want to call it? Type of spot. Um, here the views are just spectacular. There's a coffee shop maybe uh, a kilometer away from us on the top of the hill a little bit higher or it's closed down it was a coffee shop but beautiful spot beautiful views from that little place. Anyhow let's continue on our merry way. So that's the hump we gotta go over way over there you can't see it <laughs> because it's all under sky of snow so we gotta go over that it's called the hump, they call it here, which is Arrow, Mount Aerosmith, something like that. Yes, that's right. We got a whiteout, and I don't want to go snow blind. I knew it was coming, and I knew the snow would be coming through the pass here. So if uh, I didn't have sunglasses within like 10, 20 minutes, I'd get a headache because it's just too freaking ass whiteout. Uh, not as bad as what I thought. I thought it was going to be worse, like snowy, blowy, like earlier in the trip. Now, uh, about that Cameron Lake again. It's looking good. Yeah, it's always exciting driving through here because look at the steep cliff sides, water on the other side. Da da da. Wow, look at this. It looks beautiful today. I said that a gazillion times. Sorry about that. Oh, something squeaking on the van. Super van is being whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Of course, I got somebody tailgating right on my ass. Even though I'm going actually over the speed limit. Freaking crazy people here. Stupidity. And then they wonder why they end up in the ditch or whatever. So, wow, look, you can't even see the lake. Holy shit, oh. Nice, nice. Actually, I'll stop for a couple seconds and take a pee. Why not? I think it was Christmas. Yeah, you can't even see the top of the mountain. Kind of just the outlay farms a little bit. And the lake, well, it's down there somewhere. So there we have it, my friends. Another project. I need another project like I need another hole in my head. I already got five of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Probably a couple more that I don't know about leaking out the back or side or... Anyways, yeah. Uh, but I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of new adventures for whatever comes our way. Yeah, so um, stay tuned. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen with this uh, new motorbike. Uh, lots of trails around this area. We're going to be exploring lakes, recreation sites, everything. And uh, something to tour to work and back. Uh, easy. It, gas is expensive, so this thing's cheap. And it's not far. I don't have to go far with the driving the bike to work. Uh, it needs a little bit of work, some tuning stuff, but that's okay. We got that. So, not this channel, probably my bike channel, because this is supposed to be car models. But anyways, see you next time. Cheers. I'm going back on the bench and going to work on some decaling. I'm going to put the decals on the duster. And we'll see you next video.
Cheers, stay awesome. <laughs> Taking a